Ready. Okay, you ready? Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. If you guys came here for the build of the Night Witch's Staff, you guys came to the right place. This is it. It turned out so sweet. Uh, keep watching the video because at the end of the video, we're going to chop some things up and it was super fun. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. Be sure to watch the whole video so you guys see that and you guys can see how I built this thing. Um, you guys can even build one of your own. Let me know if you guys have any questions on the build or if you guys need to know anything about building any of these Clash Royale products. Thank you guys so much for dropping by and enjoy. Okay, so right here we have the main portion of the Night Witch's staff. Now, it's important to note that most of the cuts that I make, most of the angle cuts especially, I don't really like do precisely. I'm pretty much guessing on most of these cuts. So if you notice here, quite a few times, I will take a, a few whacks at it until it kind of looks right-ish or kind of has the right angle or look that I want. And then I kind of just move on from there. So I'm just going to keep whacking away at this tip here until it looks kind of similar to what I think the front of the Night Witch's staff, um, the main blue portion is what you see in game or on the card, of what I think it should look like. And so that's why I'm kind of whacking away at it like that. Anyway, it looks pretty sweet now. So I'm pretty happy with it. So now I'm just kind of figuring out how, <laughs> how long I need to measure here. And I'm also thinking like to myself, I kind of need to save a little bit for another uh, job that I'm doing, so I'm trying to conserve a lot too. Anyway, so I think I finally got it figured out. Anyway, so right here I'm going to cut a couple of different pieces. One um, is for the piece directly below the blue part that's going to be narrower than the blue main portion. And then the other piece is going to be black. It's going to be the, the black part underneath the blue part that holds the claws on. And so I'm cutting three different lines here so that I have all three of those pieces that I have to work with. And that way I don't have to cut any other pieces. I can just kind of use that same block of wood, kind of conserve wood type of thing because I like to save, you know, wood as well, if at all possible. So I have all those pieces here. And this is the best part here. It's the table saw part. It's actually where it starts to come into shape perfectly. So I'm cutting this at about a 22 and a half degree angle here and it, it cuts it so it looks kind of like the exact, I don't know if it's an octagon, hexagon I guess, six sides is what it would be called, a hexagon shape. And that's exactly what I think it looks like. And I'm going to sand this a little bit later so it actually sands at kind of an angle that I want those two sides. But anyway, that looks pretty sweet there. I like how that turned out and I was happy with it. So now I'm tracing those little two parts that I cut earlier. Um, one of them is going to be the exact same size as the base here, um, and then the other one is going to be narrower than the base. So I'll trace it right here, and then I will actually minimize um, where I traced. And so you can see right here I'm going inside about a half an inch, give or take. Like I said, I guess on most things, <laughs> which is a problem now that you mention it. Anyway, maybe I should be more exact. Anyway, it's going to be a little bit smaller, so I went inside a little bit, and I'm just going to cut those. Um, the first cut right here is super safe. It's fine. It's against the fence and everything. And then this cut's kind of safe, too, so it's against the fence if you notice here, too. <laughs> but check out this. I kind of just hold this out, and the saw kind of tried to pull the wood and tried to pull my hand right into the saw there. Not very safe. Don't do that. If you guys have an option, don't do that. Put it against the fence, it's a lot safer. <laughs> the fence is that thing on the saw that holds the wood nice and straight. Anyway, there's that first piece. That's gonna be painted blue. And this piece right here that I'm cutting now is gonna be painted black. It's gonna be the black piece that holds all the little claws on. The very bottom piece before you get to the actual um, handle of the staff. Look how cool I look when I'm showing them to you guys on camera. Anyway, that's all the pieces there. Now we're on to, of course, the <laughs> those are the, the blades of the axe. Um, I just printed one of those things off the computer. I kind of drew it out in SketchUp so that I had the exact size that I wanted. And then I'm just kind of tracing it out. Um, unfortunately, I can't afford pencils, <laughs> obviously. And so I'm using a pen, which is <laughs> not the best thing to do when you're working with wood. If you had a pencil, you know, if somebody wanted to donate a pencil, that'd be super sweet. Um, but I never have any pencils. Also, 
every single project that I do, I go through like five or six pens or pencils because I always lose them. Um, I don't know what's wrong with me. My wife gets so mad at me because I keep dropping them and I lose them. I'm like, hey, do you have a pencil? Anyway, but I'm going to jigsaw this thing. If I had like a scroll saw, that'd be so much sweeter. It'd be a lot easier and more accurate, but jigsaw works too. It's a lot cheaper, so I'm happy with it. Anyway, I'm just cutting these, these out just basically right along the line. Sometimes just a little outside the lines because I am going to sand these down in a little bit. And so you just want to make sure and, and cut these out the best because this is going to be the, the main... Um, thing that people are looking at when they look at the Night Witch's staff. Um, they're going to be checking out these blades, of course, because that is what you're going to need when you're cutting things. So I wanted those to look pretty sweet. Um, I cut this little notch out because on the one side of the Night Witch's staff, it did have the notch cut out of it. <laughs> but after I cut both these blades out, the other one, if you look right there, has a huge knot. <laughs> and I wish I would have cut that knot out instead because I think that's gonna leave a, a mark on the good side of the blade. And I was worried after I got it all finished that the the knot would fall out. It didn't end up falling out, thank goodness, but I wish that's where I would've cut the notch out. So if you do uh, cut out a notch, if you have a knot, cut the, cut the, cut the knot out. I mean, obviously. <laughs> that's like woodworking 101, cut all the knots out. I mean, if you're gonna throw away the wood anyway, you don't want that in your final product. I don't know what I was thinking. This part, here's the claws, and like I said, I just, I'm just i freehanding these claws kind of just off of kind of a picture that I have right there. So these are the claws that go under the black part, and it makes the, the staff look pretty beefy. Check this out. Watch this. <laughs> go. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. There was a big crack in the wood, and I was pushing down. It just fell on the ground. I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> let me get that. <laughs> My bad. Anyway, so I'm going to cut one out, I cut one out, and then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to trace the other three, because there's four of them on the staff, and I'm going to trace the other three um, so they're exactly the same. That way, I didn't like just kind of freehand all four of them, and we'll get those bad boys cut out right here. Funny thing is with these these claws, as soon as I kept cutting them out, they kept like flying everywhere. <laughs> they kept flying everywhere, so I couldn't find them. Oh, that little egg thing, dude, that thing was sweet. I got that thing at like Hobby Lobby, and so right at the very bottom of the Night Witch's staff, um, she has that like little blue thing. Um, you'll see here in a bit, or when it's finished. Anyway, that little blue thing. So I just got that egg, and it worked perfectly. I sanded a little bit. But I used it to trace the little black part that goes on top of, I keep calling it an egg, but it's probably has like a special, it's like an emerald, wait, what's a blue gem? There's got to be a name for a blue gem. Anyway, that's what uh, it goes on the bottom, so I'm using that for the bottom, and then I just had to trace something that was going to fit perfectly, and then I just went ahead and used the jigsaw again, cut that bad boy out, then we're on to sanding. This, this part's pretty straightforward, I just wanted everything to be nice and smooth, because, <laughs> did you guys see that fly? <laughs> the thing flew off, it was horrible. Anyway, what can you do? I guess I wasn't holding on to it very tight. I think it gouged into my finger a little bit and I just like let it go. Because sometimes it's better like when you're cutting or sanding something, if it's like gonna rip your finger off, just let it go guys, just let it go. It's not worth your finger. And so we sanded all those claw things. They look pretty sweet afterwards, nice and smooth looking. Um, the blades, I was going to sand with this sander, um, so I was able to get the inside edges, but I was going to actually sharpen the entire blade on this sander, but it was just taking, like, I don't know why, but, like, I started sanding right here. You check this out. So I'm sanding, sanding, I'm like, ugh. Anyway, it wasn't getting super sharp, super fast, so I'm like, eh, I'm going to go ahead and get the grinder out, because the grinder's way faster for me on that kind of stuff, so I went ahead and... I grinded both those blades until they were nice and sharp. And I actually got them pretty good too. They ended up being a lot sharper than I thought they would be. <laughs> and they definitely cut through things really well. Dude, look how much sawdust goes everywhere. It's a problem because it really gets dirty in there when I'm like doing all the grinding and sanding part. 
Like it gets all over my face and anyway, you guys look at look at all that dust, dude. It's just flying everywhere. Like it's horrible. Anyway, here I'm getting a final finishes on that thing, making it nice and smooth, nice and sharp, so that whatever I decide to do with it, it's gonna make sure, I'm gonna make sure, make sure it cuts, because I don't want to mess around. This is the part that I was telling you about earlier, so I'm actually pushing down pretty hard on that back portion, because the two sides of the Night Witch's staff kind of angle in. So um, that center portion, they kind of angle in, so they're not straight up and down like a 90 degree angle. So I had to use the sander just to get like a, I don't know, it's probably like a 15 degree angle on those beveled inwards. So I figured this would be the easiest way to do it rather than like holding it vertical and then using my chop saw all dangerous like to chop down at that angle. I figured this would be easy and it did turn out pretty well. Um, they aren't exact on both sides, but it's so close that you couldn't even notice probably. Now I'm sanding my egg. This little egg thing that I found at, <laughs> at Hobby Lobby. I think I go to Hobby Lobby more than any guy should. And if you guys don't know what Hobby Lobby is, it's like a little, it's like a craft store. So for like all these little things, I, <laughs> I go to like Joanne's Fabric, which is a craft store. I go to Michael's, which craft store and like I find all these things that I'm gonna use for these products and then the girls at the desk they're always like so what are you what are you making I'm like uh something for my wife <laughs> I never want to tell them the truth but <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> anyway so pretty sweet I'm just sanding everything out because all the edges if they're nice and beveled it makes everything look a lot prettier when it's all finished up if you have sharp edges sometimes it just doesn't look as nice in my opinion so this is the whole drilling part a lot of holes need drilled in this thing, um, basically for the handle and everything. So that's the little piece that's going to be painted blue. So everything I like to paint everything first. I don't like taping, so that's why I paint everything first always. I make sure and get it all um, painted up real nice, and then I can nail it together and I don't have to tape anything. But here I'm drilling, I'm drilling this hole. It's like I think it's one and one eighth inch is the size of the diameter of that hole there, and for some reason my drill was not performing really well so I'm having to push fairly hard <laughs> and I always worry about like missing and like hitting my hand or something one time I was holding a piece of wood for a guy and sure enough dude I was holding it and he's like drilling and he drilled right through my finger and it hurt fairly decently badly so I'm always afraid of doing that but I trust myself more than I do other people now so if I hit myself in the finger I'm okay with that but if somebody else hits me then I get pretty mad so anyway testing it out for fit works perfectly that's gonna be the black part that's gonna be the boom that's gonna be that works out perfectly and then this is the bottom part right here that goes on the egg I have got to think of a name for that little emerald thing anyway this is the bottom part that goes on the egg I'm gonna I'm just gonna call it an egg a blue egg on the bottom that's what it is so we got a drill hole in the egg that's the egg beautiful beautiful egg getting drilled in perfect um i almost lost that piece <laughs> that almost went flying right there you guys couldn't tell but i almost died This part ended up being like one of the coolest parts of the whole staff, I thought, is all those claws underneath here. So I ended up gluing it and then I just put one nail in it. Um, it worked out pretty well, it held pretty decently, and then once the glue dries, that glue is strong as rocks. I don't know if you guys have ever messed with wood glue before, but it holds things pretty well as long as you get a good set on it. So usually with a nail and the glue, and then you just like kind of let it set overnight, then it's usually good to go for like a while. <laughs> like it's gonna hold up okay so we got all those claws on there and that looks pretty sweet I think that thing adds like the most character to the whole thing now right here I'm drilling holes for the axe portion and the center portion so what I'm gonna do with those holes is I'm gonna take some dowels and then I'm gonna put those inside there with some wood glue and then I'm gonna go ahead and put them inside the center portion as well and with that that's gonna do holy cow it's gonna hold make it so it's like so strong uh, you won't even believe like it adds so much strength it makes it like it's all like one piece of wood there my biggest fear was drilling holes that were a little bit off <laughs> kilter 
So rather than measure, I kind of guessed, <laughs> and then I'm like, well, I better check where the center is at least. So I at least checked where the center was, <laughs> and I was right on, of course, please, please, of course that was. Anyway, so I drilled those holes, and then I go ahead, I'm going to test it out with a dowel here. Those those dowels, that's what I'm talking about. Boom, boom, and then you push that in real tight. Um, I don't think they fit the first time, but kind of like drilled it out a little more, and it fit just fine. Push those in real tight, dude, and it is so strong, strong as rocks. Basically, that thing's not coming off <laughs> at all. I think if it were to break, it would probably, it would crack in half somewhere else, but it's not gonna break right there. Then it's just simple kinda, you know, repeat for the other side. Easy sleazy. This is my absolute favorite part of any build. Um, I know I say up here that putting it together is my favorite part, but this is my favorite part, painting. I love painting because I know I'm almost done. My wife was just sitting there talking to my neighbor. They're like, are we in the picture? I'm like, no, don't worry about it. Turns out they were. They're here in the picture. They're gonna get mad at me, but <laughs> they'll be okay. <laughs> anyway, painting away. Um, everything's pretty much one color black. I use a couple different colors when I paint black. I use like a black and then I use like a gray because it ends up having like a better finish. Um, this one worked out really well. I used a nice silver on the blade tips here and it looks so sweet. And then on the blue, I actually sprayed a blue and then I sprayed um, like a blue glitter on top of it and it ended up making it like so it was like all shiny looking and everything. See, I'm. <laughs> There's my paint shelf back there. I have tons of different paints. See what I'm saying? So I used two different colors on the black there. Two different like variants to make it look real good. And then <laughs> obviously I'm not paying attention to painting real great. Look how handy I was painting with two hands and everything. That was pretty slick. Okay, so now we have all the pieces cut and Obviously this is my favorite part of any build, but we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna assemble all of the pieces of the staff together. It should be pretty straightforward. We're gonna use a lot of these dowels that I made. I just cut a bunch of 3 8 dowels and we're gonna use those to um, make sure everything's really strong and sturdy in there so that when I go and chop something, hopefully this thing doesn't bust in half. So, this black part, after I got it all finished, I put it on the very first time and it like wasn't lining up, but I had it like turned around backwards. I was kind of scared. Anyway, there's a few nails in here just to get that thing holding on tight. That is the base, like like I said, the coolest part of the Night Witch's staff right there. So then I'm just kind of lining up everything, putting a bunch of wood glue in there. Um, there can be too much wood glue. You'll see when I like put the second side on, but you want like enough wood glue so that um, everything like gets glue on it when you put it all together so you want to make sure you have definitely adequate amount of wood glue but not too much because wood glue can get messy and then when you try and clean it up like it looks like it doesn't look good at all so <laughs> make sure and just the right amount just the right amount of wood glue perfect okay that's why I kind of wipe it off right there like I put a bunch on, then I kind of wipe it off on the, on the paper there, and it works out better that way for me. That way everything is nice and clean when I put it together. Check this out. Look at my hands right there. So I put way too much wood glue on that second half, and like it went everywhere, so I had to take a, you can kind of see it right there on the edge, but I had to go clean it up a little bit. Anyway, so tons of wood glue on the uh, main handle part, of course, because I do not want that thing coming out. So I went ahead and turned that in, that way I didn't get glue every <clears throat> the glue everywhere. Because if you just ram it in there, then glue just kind of squishes out. So I kind of turned that in slowly, and it seems to work out pretty well. Here's the butt end with the nice little egg that's finally going to go on the staff here. I just have to nail that black part on, which easy sleazy. And then plenty of glue. And then there's a dowel in there as well. So there's a dowel in everywhere that I kind of put parts together because the dowel adds an infinite amount of strength and then pretty much that's <coughs> all there is to the staff so easy to put together once you have it built cut and painted 
That looks so good. Oh my gosh, loving it. Hey guys, thank you so much for dropping by the channel today for this sweet build of the Night Witch's Staff. I think it turned out bomb diggity. Pretty dang good, actually. So, it uh, probably will chop something, but there's only one way to find out. So, we are going to go ahead and we're going to test this bad boy and see how it actually does in action. Um, of course, I am scared to death to break it, but it is what it is. We have to test it out. So, let's get on with the test right now. I've decided to test it on a couple things. First, we're going to test it on this lettuce here, just so we can get the nice chop down and hopefully that works out really well for us. Second, we're gonna test it on a bag of potato chips and see if it just smashes through that bag of potato chips. I think it should look pretty sweet. Unfortunately, I do not have one of those slow motion cameras. Uh, that would be sweet, but we're gonna try this anyway. Anyway, let's get to it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> I hope I don't miss, okay? Don't miss. Don't miss, just don't miss, okay? Are you ready, Cooper? You ready? No, you're not ready. Okay, you ready? Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. What? That was awesome! Oh my gosh. Dude, it sliced it right in half. Check that out. Check that out. What? That was so sweet. All right, we're gonna need a towel. <laughs> hmm. All right, still recording. Okay, so the lettuce chop actually went extremely well. If you look back there, it sliced it right in half. And I'm very pleased with it. Let's get some potato chips because I'm not really a vegetable guy, more of a potato chip guy. So let's open those up real quick. Mm. All right, test number two. We're gonna try out a bag of great value potato chips from our local Walmart. <laughs> Night witch, <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> Are you ready? I don't wanna make, it's gonna make the biggest mess. Are you ready? You ready? Are you ready? Okay. Ready? Set. Go. Oh snap. <laughs> Dude, he cut. That cut the bag right in half. We're gonna have ants all over for the next three years. Boom, 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 boom. Most of it ended up here. There's the bag, cut in half, boom, boom, perfect. There's nothing left in there. Perfect. The chopping went so good. The potato chips, that was awesome. The lettuce turned out super sweet. Dude, you can check out that line there, dude. It chopped it like right in half perfectly. Thank you guys so much for dropping by the channel today for this sweet build. I think it turned out better than expected. Um, oh my gosh, please subscribe and keep on watching my videos so I can keep on making these sweet little doodads uh, from Clash Royale. They are awesome. They keep turning out better and better than I expect. I just plan them out and they turn out great. So thank you guys for your support. Thank you for dropping by the channel today. Take it easy and good luck.